Gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide is a compound of the elements gallium and arsenic. It is a EV direct band gap semiconductor with a zinc blend crystal structure. Gallium arsenide is used in the manufacture of devices such as microwave frequency integrated circuits, monolithic microwave integrated circuits, infrared light emitting diodes, laser diodes, solar cells, and optical windows. Gallium 3 arsenide is often used as a substrate material for the epitaxial growth of other EV semiconductors, including indium gallium arsenide, aluminum gallium arsenide, and others. Topic. Preparation and chemistry In the compound, gallium has a plus 3 oxidation state. Gallium arsenide single crystals can be prepared by three industrial processes. The vertical gradient freeze VGF process Most gallium 3 arsenide wafers are produced using this process. Crystal growth using a horizontal zone furnace in the Bridgman Stockbarger technique, in which gallium and arsenic vapors react, and free molecules deposit on a seed crystal at the cooler end of the furnace. Liquid encapsulated Zakralski (LEC) growth is used for producing high purity single crystals that can exhibit semi-insulating characteristics. See below. Alternative methods for producing films of gallium-3 arsenide include. VPE reaction of gaseous gallium metal and arsenic trichloride, 2 Ga plus 2 ASCl3 2 gallium 3 arsenide plus 3 Cl2 MOCVD reaction of trimethylgallium and arsine, Ga CH3 3 plus ash 3 gallium 3 arsenide plus 3 CH4 Molecular beam epitaxy MBE of gallium and arsenic, 4 Ga plus as 4 4 gallium 3 arsenide or 2 Ga plus as 2 2 Gauss oxidation of gallium 3 arsenide occurs in air, degrading performance of the semiconductor. The surface can be passivated by depositing a cubic gallium sulfide layer using a tert butyl gallium sulfide compound such as Tbugas 7. Semi-insulating crystals In the presence of excess arsenic, gallium-3 arsenide boule grow with crystallographic defects, specifically, arsenic antisite defects and arsenic atom at a gallium atom site within the crystal lattice. The electronic properties of these defects interacting with others cause the Fermi level to be pinned to near the center of the band gap, so that this gallium-3 arsenide crystal has very low concentration of electrons and holes. This low carrier concentration is similar to an intrinsic perfectly unduped crystal, but much easier to achieve in practice. These crystals are called semi-insulating. Reflecting their high resistivity of 107 to 109 ohms cm, which is quite high for a semiconductor, but still much lower than a true insulator like glass. Topic: <laughs> Etching. Wet etching of gallium-3 arsenide industrially uses an oxidizing agent such as hydrogen peroxide or bromine water, and the same strategy has been described in a patent relating to processing scrap components containing gallium-3 arsenide where the Ga-3 plus is complexed with a hydroxymic acid. Ha! For example, gallium-3 arsenide plus H2O2 plus. Ha! GAA. Complex plus hydrogen arsenate plus 4H2 others reaction produces arsenic acid. Topic: Electronics. Topic: Gallium 3 arsenide digital logic. Gallium-3 arsenide can be used for various transistor types MESFET HEMT a type of FET JFET 
Heterojunction Bipolar Transistor HBT, The HBT can be used in Integrated Injection Logic I2L. The earliest gallium-3 arsenide logic gate used buffered FET logic BFL. From tilde 1975 to 1995 the main logic families used were, source-coupled FET logic SCFL fastest and most complex, used by Triquint and Vites capacitor diode FET logic CDFL used by Cray direct-coupled FET logic DCFL simplest and lowest power used by Vites for VLSI gate arrays. Topic. Comparison with silicon for electronics <laughs> Gallium-3 arsenide advantages Some electronic properties of gallium arsenide are superior to those of silicon. It has a higher saturated electron velocity and higher electron mobility, allowing gallium arsenide transistors to function at frequencies in excess of 250 GHz. Gallium-3 arsenide devices are relatively insensitive to overheating, owing to their wider energy band gap, and they also tend to create less noise disturbance in an electrical signal in electronic circuits than silicon devices, especially at high frequencies. This is a result of higher carrier mobilities and lower resistive device parasitics. These superior properties are compelling reasons to use gallium-3 arsenide circuitry in mobile phones, satellite communications, microwave point-to-point -point links and higher frequency radar systems. It is also used in the manufacture of gun diodes for the generation of microwaves. Another advantage of gallium-3 arsenide is that it has a direct band gap, which means that it can be used to absorb and emit light efficiently. Silicon has an indirect band gap and so is relatively poor at emitting light. As a wide direct band gap material with resulting resistance to radiation damage, gallium-3 arsenide is an excellent material for outer space electronics and optical windows in high power applications. Because of its wide band gap, pure gallium-3 arsenide is highly resistive. Combined with a high dielectric constant, this property makes gallium-3 arsenide a very good substrate for integrated circuits and unlike C provides natural isolation between devices and circuits. This has made it an ideal material for monolithic microwave integrated circuits MMICs, where active and essential passive components can readily be produced on a single slice of gallium-3 arsenide. One of the first gallium-3 arsenide microprocessors was developed in the early 1980s by the RCA Corporation and was considered for the Star Wars program of the United States Department of Defense. These processors were several times faster and several orders of magnitude more radiation-resistant than their silicon counterparts, but were more expensive. Other gallium-3 arsenide processors were implemented by the supercomputer vendors Cray Computer Corporation, Convex, and Alliant in an attempt to stay ahead of the ever-improving CMOS microprocessor. Cray eventually built one gauze-based machine in the early 1990s, the Cray 3, but the effort was not adequately capitalized, and the company filed for bankruptcy in 1995. Complex layered structures of gallium arsenide in combination with aluminium arsenide, aluminium arsenide or the alloy ALXGA1-XAs can be grown using molecular beam epitaxy MBE or using metalorganic vapor phase epitaxy MOVPE. Because gallium-3 arsenide and aluminium arsenide have almost the same lattice constant, the layers have very little induced strain, which allows them to be grown almost arbitrarily thick. This allows extremely high performance and high electron mobility HEMT transistors and other quantum well devices. Concerns over gauze's susceptibility to heat damage have been raised, but it has been speculated that certain manufacturers would benefit from such limitations, considering the planned obsolescence cycle that many consumer electronics are designed to follow.
Topic: <inaudible> Silicon advantages. Silicon has three major advantages over gallium-3 arsenide for integrated circuit manufacture. First, silicon is abundant and cheap to process in the form of silicate minerals. The economies of scale available to the silicon industry has also hindered the adoption of gallium-3 arsenide. In addition, a sea crystal has a very stable structure and can be grown to very large diameter boule and processed with very good yields. It is also a fairly good thermal conductor, thus enabling very dense packing of transistors that need to get rid of their heat of operation, all very desirable for design and manufacturing of very large ICs. Such good mechanical characteristics also make it a suitable material for the rapidly developing field of nanoelectronics. Naturally, a gallium-3 arsenide surface cannot withstand the high temperatures needed for diffusion, however a viable and actively pursued alternative as of the 1980s was ion implantation. The second major advantage of C is the existence of a native oxide silicon dioxide, silicon oxide, which is used as an insulator. Silicon dioxide can be incorporated onto silicon circuits easily, and such layers are adherent to the underlying silicon. Silicon oxide is not only a good insulator with a band gap of 8.9 electron volts, but the C-silicon oxide interface can be easily engineered to have excellent electrical properties, most importantly low density of interface states. Gallium-3 arsenide does not have a native oxide, does not easily support a stable adherent insulating layer, and does not possess the dielectric strength or surface passivating qualities of the C-silicon oxide. Aluminum oxide, aluminium oxide has been extensively studied as a possible gate oxide for gallium-3 arsenide as well as ingots. The third advantage of silicon is that it possesses a higher hole mobility compared to gallium-3 arsenide 500 versus 400 cm 2 volts minus 1s minus 1. This high mobility allows the fabrication of higher speed P-channel field effect transistors, which are required for CMOS logic. Because they lack a fast CMOS structure, gallium-3 arsenide circuits must use logic styles which have much higher power consumption, this has made gallium-3 arsenide logic circuits unable to compete with silicon logic circuits. For manufacturing solar cells, silicon has relatively low absorptivity for sunlight, meaning about 100 micrometers of C is needed to absorb most sunlight. Such a layer is relatively robust and easy to handle. In contrast, the absorptivity of gallium-3 arsenide is so high that only a few micrometers of thickness are needed to absorb all of the light. Consequently, gallium-3 arsenide thin films must be supported on a substrate material. Silicon is a pure element, avoiding the problems of stoichiometric imbalance and thermal unmixing of gallium-3 arsenide. Silicon has a nearly perfect lattice, impurity density is very low and allows very small structures to be built currently down to 16 nanometers. In contrast, gallium-3 arsenide has a very high impurity density, which makes it difficult to build integrated circuits with small structures, so the 500 nanometers process is a common process for gallium-3 arsenide. Other applications Topic. Solar cells and detectors Gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide is an important semiconductor material for high-cost, high-efficiency solar cells and is used for single crystalline thin-film solar cells and for multi-junction solar cells. The first known operational use of gallium-3 arsenide solar cells in space was for the Venera 3 mission, launched in 1965. The gallium-3 arsenide solar cells, manufactured by K. Vant, were chosen because of their higher performance in high-temperature environments. Gallium-3 arsenide cells were then used for the Lunokhod rovers for the same reason. 
In 1970, the gallium-3 arsenide heterostructure solar cells were developed by the team led by Zors Alfarov in the USSR, achieving much higher efficiencies. In the early 1980s, the efficiency of the best gallium-3 arsenide solar cells surpassed that of conventional, crystalline silicon-based solar cells. In the 1990s, gallium-3 arsenide solar cells took over from silicon as the cell type most commonly used for photovoltaic arrays for satellite applications. Later, dual and triple junction solar cells based on gallium-3 arsenide with germanium and indium gallium phosphide layers were developed as the basis of a triple junction solar cell, which held a record efficiency of over 32% and can operate also with light as concentrated as 2000 suns. This kind of solar cell powered the Mars Exploration Rover's Spirit and Opportunity, which explored Mars' surface. Also many solar cars utilize gallium-3 arsenide in solar arrays. Gauze-based devices hold the world record for the highest efficiency single-junction solar cell at 29.1% as of 2019. This high efficiency is attributed to the extreme high-quality gallium-3 arsenide epitaxial growth, surface passivation by the algas, and the promotion of photon recycling by the thin film design. Complex designs of ALXGA1-XA's gallium-3 arsenide devices using quantum wells can be sensitive to infrared radiation QWIP. Gallium-3 arsenide diodes can be used for the detection of X-rays. Light emission devices Gallium-3 arsenide has been used to produce near-infrared laser diodes since 1962. Fiber optic temperature measurement For this purpose an optical fiber tip of an optical fiber temperature sensor is equipped with a gallium arsenide crystal. Starting at a light wavelength of 850 nm gallium-3 arsenide becomes optically translucent. Since the position of the band gap is temperature dependent, it shifts about 0.4 nm, k. The measurement device contains a light source and a device for the spectral detection of the band gap. With the changing of the band gap, 0.4 nm, k, an algorithm calculates the temperature all 250 milliseconds. Topic: <laughs> Spin charge converters. Gallium-3 arsenide may have applications in spintronics as it can be used instead of platinum in spin charge converters and may be more tunable. <laughs> Safety The environment, health and safety aspects of gallium arsenide sources such as trimethylgallium and arsine and industrial hygiene monitoring studies of metalorganic precursors have been reported. California lists gallium arsenide as a carcinogen, as do IARC and ECA, and it is considered a known carcinogen in animals. On the other hand, a 2013 review funded by industry argued against these classifications, saying that when rats or mice inhale fine gallium-3 arsenide powders as in previous studies, they get cancer from the resulting lung irritation and inflammation, rather than from a primary carcinogenic effect of the gallium-3 arsenide itself and that, moreover, fine gallium-3 arsenide powders are unlikely to be created in the production or use of gallium-3 arsenide. See also